So real quick, this is from Amazon. So baby, you can get it in two days. Click the link down below so you can go get your locks. 22 inches boho crochet locks. This hair is actually really soft. Look at that. See, this is one lock where you can crochet it at the top and then it ends with one curly human hair piece as well. Really soft. So I have three packs and that's a total of 72 lock strands. Let's get to it. So I'm going from another style. I did some large box braids, so I just went ahead and took them out and then pinned up the back. Since I will just crochet the hair regular in the back. And then here at the top, I'm gonna do the connected box way. And instead of me washing my hair, I just wet it so I can comb it out. Ooh, shame on me. Now the only thing I would be doing different here, so you know, I usually just do rolls back like this but I'm going to individually box out the parts so that they look more random. You know, I'm just trying something new because I do a lot of crochet styles and why not just switch it up and experiment with different ways and see what I like. I'm not gonna braid all the way down, just the beginning. For my edges, I need product on these edges, baby. See, I'm trying to do it like really random. And even though I am parting them off different, I will still connect my boxes. See, I'll still do that. Then once I finish with that row, I'll just crochet it back. So I'll just keep doing it like this. Forget all that, just tuck it. Just tuck it, okay? You see what I'm going for? Yeah. Let me go ahead and pull out my individual piece. I wanted something like that. Of course you can do your entire hair like this or you can do your entire hair individual like this. The choice is yours. And for this individual piece, I will braid this one all the way down to the end. So this side is done. I think that looks pretty cool. So let me go ahead and do this side. All right, so foundation is done. You see my brick work. And then of course this is still pinned up for the back for me to just crochet. I love this brick work, so we're gonna see what it do. Let's do these individual ones first. Going through the braid. And pull that through. Y'all know how this go. And now I'm going to feed my braid through the lock. Push my latch hook up and then through it like that. It's easier to guide it through. So see that? And then I just keep doing that just a little bit at a time. And instead of just pushing it through, I'm taking my hook to grab some of the hair and then push it through. And you see how thin my braid is? Your sections can't be too large doing this. That's if you decide to do it the individual way. And I literally just keep doing the same thing until I reach the end of my hair and it's no longer exposed. Okay, see, just one more small piece. See, this is very time consuming. However, you get a more natural look, but it does take a longer time and you have to make sure your braids are really small so that it will actually fit through the lock. See here, that look really good. Still got my bowl pieces coming out. Yeah. All right, having my two individual pieces. Now everything else I will just crochet in the regular way. 
And also depending on what side that I'm crocheting on, I push my latch hook going down. That way that little knot will be at the bottom or whatever side that you wanna pull your locks on. See that little knot at the bottom. Over here, same thing, going down. And don't try to crochet it all the way up here where the lock is at. Go all the way down to the bottom to the thinnest part of the lock, which is just the boho hair. And then pull that through and everything else will follow. See, just real simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the top. Wait, hey, what are you doing? Come on. Come on, Nova. There you go, baby. <laughs> All right, top all done. They look so good. Pull out my individual pieces. Like what? Baby, stop playing. Don't play with me. So let's tackle this back. Middle part shorty. I'm ready to fly through this back cause I don't feel like it, but we ready to fly through it. Cause it's not gonna take us long anyway. Alright, so I'm ready to start on my last bundle. This is basically one pack in the front and then here's another pack in the back. So, let's fill it in with the third one. I was trying to spread it out, so. And that's it. I have all three packs, which is a total of 72 crochet locks I've installed. So, and of course you can add some mousse, but I'd rather not add any product because it's going to like weigh my curls down. I love the fluffy look of these locks and how my curls just look really airy and light. All right. So here's the finish look. This hair is so soft. You see me running my fingers through it. It's so soft. All right. So yeah, this is how it looks down. Of course, flip it over. Yeah. 